Thank you for rocking with your boy like always. Definitely a privilege and honor to do as such. Y'all see what we getting into. We back at it. Marvel Puzzle Quest continuing the series. Let's go ahead and get it right into it right off rip. Let me let y'all know what's going on for the next day or so. So this is what's popping off. You got the new event jumping off the meet rocking and group. So um, on that rocking and Groot adventure, if you're definitely choosing to get into that, um, you can get a couple of covers there looking into it. Um, Captain Marvel, a um, couple of shards and whatnot. That's the one thing I noticed. That's the one thing I'm going to definitely talk about. Like I could talk about it right now, as y'all well see that Carolina Dean, y'all see those shards for those. Um, D3 and the Marvel Puzzle Quest team are making a big push to incorporate shards as opposed to anything else to help people upgrade their characters, which is kind of a good thing, kind of not. Because with shards, I mean, it does require you to, you know, run a lot of these events through completion when you're running, like, against to get shards versus getting, like, covers outright. Now, one of the things that they did prior to is that when they were going for like covers and stuff initially you know it was kind of hard to get covers they didn't just drop them like drop covers off like that you would have to really get to a certain threshold to get covers or get command points to pull for certain covers whether they're four star five stars now what you're seeing is that they're actually making a much bigger push to kind of incorporate shards early so when you're looking at the structure of how they do like the player rewards now so take a look at this this is a level eight for example uh, this is on the blue steel we're going to jump into this momentarily by the way so if you're looking at this you can see kind of the structure you know you get to about you know get to about six wins you're going to get yourself a mighty recruit token which is cool because you can kind of get that fairly easy um lower tier or mid tier players can really get this um, top tier players will probably get this in maybe two or three runs max um it, excuse me and then when you get to about like 10 you at the 400 mark you're going to start getting like shards for certain four stars which is cool now you're going to get like you know 75 shards here then as opposed to you know when you got to 16 um 16 wins or 575 um points you would get 10 command points all you need is 11 or 450 points to get the eight command points so you're taking a two point hit but it's taking you a lot quicker time to get those eight command points now over time you're going to probably see the effects of that a little bit but that's definitely not a bad thing considering that when you get to like the 16 you're actually getting more chances to get these shards for the four stars so it actually gives you a better shot at getting four star characters 19 gives you another mighty token right there so there's a lot of ways to actually upgrade. So this progression system is a lot better. Once you get to 40, you'll get the cover there. But if you actually run the table, let's say you get 1,200 points or you get um, 75 wins, whichever is quicker for you, typically the 1,200 points is, um, you would ultimately get two covers for Craven. Um, and then you will still have like two tokens for the mighty. You will still have your command points that you're typically getting. So the progression system is actually a lot more rewarding now than it was before. So I definitely want to get that off the ground first and foremost. Because at first, you know, I know it's a little bit confusing about, you know, the progression system and how it would work. And how it would benefit, you know, how does it benefit people. I actually like this progression system a lot better now. Because you have a more of an opportunity to get um, very good covers if you decide to put in the work. Now, you got to, you know, to get to 1,200 points, it's not an easy get by any stretch of the imagination. But to get to 1,200 points, you know, it's doable, but it's not easy. But if you get there, you're going to get at least two covers of somebody. Let's say if it's a good four-star character that you need. And Craven's not bad by any stretch, by the way. Uh, but if you get to them by chance and you get all those covers off the ground, that actually could benefit you an awful lot. I think it will, I think it will work out pretty well for a lot of people, this new structure, especially like for um, lower or mid-tier players who are looking to progress along pretty quickly. You know, once you start playing in like, you know, tier 7, tier 8, tier 9, tier 10, it definitely will benefit you a lot more greatly at that particular point in time. So... I like it personally, but y'all let me know what y'all think in regards to that because I'm not sure if y'all going to like it or not, but I like it. I mean, I know you take a little bit of a hit as far as like getting command points, but if you have the chance to get two four-star covers, especially of the same one, 
especially of somebody who could actually who could actually benefit and you know, work on your team i think that would give people more of an incentive to at least push to try to get to that 1200 um threshold and i know it's not easy i'm not even going to front getting to 1200 on that threshold is not an easy get by any stretch of the imagination but it's doable don't get it wrong. It is a doable thing. You're just going to have to play in tiers and really focus up and really use your um, coins to really kind of hold your position. And that's where it's going to become tricky, you know, because a lot of, you know, you know the, the current school of thought is use your coins to kind of upgrade your roster. Now you're going to have to make pretty tough choices in regards to your coins to either A, you know, upgrade your roster or B, kind of hold position to try to get you know, points, you know, in order to make sure that you get these um, dual four-star covers that's going to be popping off, especially when the really, really, really good four-star covers start popping off. I think it's going to be real tough to make these decisions in that regard. So we'll see. We'll see as we go along, but I definitely like it for sure. So that's what I've been seeing and, you know, what's been new. Um, I haven't had a chance to really address it as of late. I was going to address it earlier this weekend. I didn't get a chance to. I should have done it yesterday, but my fault. I didn't. That's why I want to make sure I address it now while I got a little bit of time before heading to work. Um, definitely want to get that off the ground for sure. So um, right now, as you well see, I just kind of dove right into it. I know I'm kind of moving fairly quickly, but I dove right into it off rip. Um, this is the blue steel. This is basically the quicksilver setup that we're, that we're playing today. Um, I'll just count down for what right now. And what we're really doing here is um, really just going to kind of blow through a few of these real fast. Um, Quicksilver, um, according to my according to my boy Boom Boom Shot Push, shout out to him, part of the Holy Circle game, and of course, um, he really loved like this is one of his favorite characters to play in the game, and I really been trying to understand for what reason or why, uh, because for me Quicksilver is a cool little character, but um you know a fun character maybe i think he's fun because there's a lot of good things you could do but he's not really a volume character meaning that he's not going to do like a buttload of damage now his abilities kind of jump off pretty quick i'll give you that but as far as like you know high volume high pop damage he's not that by any stretch of the imagination so you would need somebody to work with quicksilver in order to make his volume work and oh there are um somebody's dotting me up crazy um you gotta work with somebody to give him the volume that's necessary for him to work for him to kind of do his things but him tying up team up tiles i kind of like that that's kind of always been a good thing you know because it kind of like you know flips the board around a little bit uh, puts you know certain gems in jeopardy and stuff like you kind of see here i set up a, a good little five um, and if you actually get your abilities off, um, it actually could, you know, change the board up pretty dramatically. So I kind of like that, too. I'm not really mad at it. But he, I mean, personally, he's not one of my personal faves. Um, the reason why I run this event is like for my boy Boom Boom Shopper. He loves his character. He works his character very well. When we first started playing this game about maybe two maybe two two and a half years ago at this juncture in time um this was his character this was his go-to character off rip this is the one that he started off like look you gotta run with this character i was like yo i'm gonna run with storm i like the two star storm you know i kind of like the three star storm at the time until some of the other three stars so i started looking at like iron fist and some of the other ones that were really cooking um but those were my characters personally uh, but he really liked this one. And I've been trying to figure out why. I mean, there's certain things that's really cool about him. Like the ability to do like stuff like Idle Hands. Idle Hands is like a really, um, really good ability. Especially when you're trying to like create, um, try to create like criticals or whatnot. You could definitely create criticals with this character for sure. Because with the ability to kind of like shift, um, shift gems around and stuff that's actually a good idea and a good um, a good thing to do um, if you have the gems you know if you have the right gems in place so it does kind of predicate upon gem placement of course but once you do um, you can really do a lot of good things here um, I think what I want to do here I don't know if I want to maybe cook for those reds <sighs> I don't know if I want to cook for those reds or not I think what I'm going to do I'm going to 
cook these blues, I think. Supersonic, yeah, I'm just going to cook the blues. Because that was the right play. Because the blues at least give you 2,000. That's the one thing about those. When you get them team-up tiles, like, cooking like that. Um, those team-up tiles can do, they do about 2,000 worth of damage. Not a lot. And you'll see that in a little bit. When you're going against stronger characters, it's not going to really, like, benefit you much to really have, you know, you know, to really just do 2,000. 2,000 in quick succession, yes. But you don't really get those abilities off in quick succession. You know, Quicksilver does take a minute to get his abilities off. Because as you well see, it takes about 9 gems for the idol. Idol has 9 gems of black, 8 gems of green. Supersonic kind of does this thing. It's, it's a passive, of course. So, like I said, you kind of run... You kind of run... Um, you kind of run, like, um, Quicksilver in, like... Basically, what you will run with Quicksilver, you'll want to run him in, like, support as opposed to running him, like, directly heads-on, like, being your primary character. I, this is the one tough thing about running him off top, even if you had him fully upgraded, fully everything. Um, you will have to run, literally run him in support and have somebody else rock with him at that time to make, to make it all work. At least for me, that's my personal take. Um, if y'all have something different on that, y'all let me know. If there's something I'm missing in that regard, um, definitely let me know. It's just, that's my thing with, um, with Quicksilver. That's why I say he's a, you know, when you break him around amongst like three star characters, is he a top tier three star? No, not by any stretch. Maybe maybe a mid-tier i was still i think i was still kind of class him as a mid-tier maybe a lower mid-tier i think there's a lot other three stars that are still better than him even to this day even with all the meta and all the changes and everything i still think he's solid i don't think he's great don't think he's buns either don't get it wrong he's not buns i just don't know if i don't know if it's the best of the three stars where you can say look oh he's top tier for sure Ooh. Got him down to like five. Uh, what can I do here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the yellow. I think I'm going to shift this yellow and green here. I'm going to shift those around. Get them up. Get them up out of there. Let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this critical out the way. Don't have any blues. If I had a blue a play on the blue, that would actually be a little bit more beneficial. I really don't. Because the blue will be able to get him out of there too. But don't have a play on the blue. Well, actually, I'll get it here. So what I could do, I'm going to go. Um, I could go slice and dice, I guess. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm going to cool on slice and dice. Um, I could go Fist of Fury and restart everything around. I could do that. We'll go Fist of Fury first. We'll lock in another team up tile there. And then we'll do the countdown for what, just in case. This is more precautionary, more so than anything else. But I'm going to use this uh, purple-blue combination, which should be able to blow those up, get them out of there. So it sure doesn't do enough damage, which it worked out pretty well. Nice, quick, and easy. But here's what I want to kind of show you real fast. And I'll play one more round before we start getting to anything else. Is that when you're running Quicksilver, you know, the tough thing about running with Quicksilver is this, is that when you're running this particular event, I'll play, I guess I'll run this one. Um, when you're playing this particular event, um, basically when you're running Quicksilver, you know, the one thing you kind of want to guard against is, you know, you want to make sure that he is not your primary target here, that he's going to basically run secondary. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run Riri Williams and I'm going to run... Um, I'm going to run Riri Williams, I'm going to run um, Cyclops, I'm going to basically run them tandem and support. And the reason why I'm doing that is not for anything else, that's not what I want. Um, I want to run, let's run this one. The reason why I want to run those two, because at least when you're getting the blues, the blues can be utilized for something more so than to just take down... Um, it could be run for something much more than to like use the team up tiles for Quicksilver. So basically, I'm just using Quicksilver literally just in support, maybe to just absorb some damage, whatnot. That's really what I'm gonna use them for. Um, everything else is gonna be kind of used pretty quickly. I mean, the black gems are gonna work out pretty well for us in this particular instance if we could get them. By the way. Um, because being able to use idle hands will work out pretty well for us if we're able to, like, cook those. 
which doesn't look like I'm going to be able to just yet. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with that. Oh, I should have got those blues up top. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Fist of Fury. I could probably run Fist of Fury, but I'm going to hold on to it. Fist of Fury is probably an okay run if I had like a team up that was going to connect to a blue. Now, see, what he's going to do, he's going to probably clip me for this pretty good here. He's going to run the blue. It's going to hit me. Supersonic is going to clip me for like a thousand it's not too bad not too bad there so what i want to do here is oh i can't run idle can't run idle hands yet i'm gonna actually run this black there so i could get my idle hands working that's a pretty good that's a pretty good drop by for them by the way um what i'm gonna do is I don't have a play on the reds just yet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and run I'm gonna run this blue right here lock in a tile they're gonna speed up it's gonna get to he's gonna run one more but there's no blue oh there is a blue play there wow there is a blue right on the bottom There's, oh, and it's gonna just gonna take me out. Wow, that's a pretty good play with Quicksilver. That's running pretty. That's running much faster than what I thought it would run. I mean, it's cool. I could deal with it. Um, I could still get him up out of there with these two because I wasn't really focusing on Quicksilver like being like the primary for me. <laughs> He's gonna lock in. And he's going to get idle hands. Wow, that's actually doing some pretty quick damage. Bit of both. Hopefully, it takes out not and take out much. I'm still down, but I'm not really down by much here. I could still probably make all this work. I'm definitely going to need some. Definitely going to need some reds for sure. And I'm going to go ahead and get and get real jiggy right now and really try to lock in and go. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play, I'm going to play combined, I'm going to play combined right there. Go ahead and get Doctor Strange out the way because everything else is kind of moving really quick here. Um, I don't have a blue play there. I could run, actually what I could have done, I could probably run called shot here, but I really don't want to run called shot. Not just yet. Um... Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift the board as soon as I get Riri Williams back on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slide the board around a little bit. Then I could go ahead and get Quicksilver out of the way pretty quickly once I do. But it requires me to kind of slide the board around slightly. And that's going to work out just the way I want it to. Because Magnetic Repulsors, that's the reason why I brought Riri Williams on. I know we're behind right now, but we're going to catch up pretty quickly here. Because being behind... Um, what I could do now, I could probably shift these two around. I could probably do this here. Um, I don't have Quicksilver here. Um, I could go ahead and... I could go ahead and do this. I could go ahead and... Run Combined Assault, and I'm going to run it... I think I'm going to run it right... I'm going to run it right there. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Take that back. I'm going to run it right here. I'm going to run Quick Assault right there. I'm going to go ahead and get Quicksilver out the way. So running Quicksilver, get him out there. I'm going to get the critical here against Professor X. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and get my team up tiles here, which will be able to give me a good combination play. Drop everything down, get everything like normal. Uh, what I'm looking for is maybe three more team up tiles if I could get that. Um... Or oh, I could actually what I could do, let's go remote control gauntlets. I'm not even gonna play around with them. I'll go remote control and go selfless intervention. And I still had control over it. This is why I didn't like running with Quicksilver because Quicksilver is gonna absorb a lot of damage. He could do a lot of quick stuff though, don't get it wrong. You know, when you're going Quicksilver versus Quicksilver, you could do a lot of little quick, easy, tricky stuff. Don't get it fooled for sure. But the problem is he's always gonna put you in jeopardy. So you gotta have a combination of two characters that will be able to cover that gap if anything goes wrong. So that's 
that's the reason why I said I'm not completely sold on Quicksilver. Um, sorry, Boom Boom Shot Put. He's not my favorite character, but, you know, we rock with him just the same. So it's cool. So we got that little upgraded there. I'm going to upgrade that. So this is what I got going on as far as, like, my roster is concerned. Um, four stars, no major changes to my four stars. I'm still missing a few of them there. Nobody really added in crazy as of yet. Last person whom I added on, I got a, a Nova cover, and the last person I added on was Invisible Woman. Um, three stars, been relatively the same. Um, I only have two of them that I need, Vision and Psylocke, which at some point I'll get on. Uh, two stars, I just need Dakin, which likely I'm going to have to put on more sooner than later, because that's the last that I need. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to click out of there. Um, who what else do I have? Five stars. Like I said, if y'all have been following along, Beta Ray Bills was my last of the five stars that I've added on. Um, I do have a few in the hole. So in the hole, I have Carnage, Oyoke, Professor X in the hole. So I need to make a decision on those. I have a bunch of four stars in the hole. A lot of them I won't be able to get on. Um, I was thinking about Craven because if I could go ahead and get that Craven cover, it will make more sense to put Craven on. If not, I'm thinking maybe um, War, War Machine, what I'm thinking. So I'm not sure. We'll see. Depends on what happens in this cover pull session. Two stars, like I said, just thinking. Um, and we got a few to pull, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right, right into it, let y'all know what we got to pull for. I got seven in the post taco vault. Um, I got 10 in the new school talk of all. We'll definitely talk about that in a moment. Um, X-Men vs. Apocalypse. I got a couple in there for sure. Um, I got uh, Crack of Doom. I got one in there. I didn't really do too much work in that one. Special special offer post event. I got two in there as well. And then I also have... What do I have? Do I have one? I don't have a latest. Um, I have three Mighty. I have four Heroic. I have 13 Elite. I have 12 Standard. I am going to quick sell the Standards real fast and go ahead and get those out the way. This is going to be fairly quick. So we're just going to go ahead and run those real fast. Um, how was y'all? How have y'all been? How's y'all cover pull session been going? Hopefully everything's been rocking really smooth. How have y'all liked the changes to uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest? How y'all like the progression system? I actually really kind of like the progression system. Um, it's been rocking really good for me as of late. So, but we'll see as we go along as we get more and more involved with this new progression system. But as far as like the shards and stuff. And I think it may be something that D3 will definitely keep around for a period of time. So we'll see. We'll see as we go along. Um, but outside of that, everything else has been good. It's been working a lot as of late. The family's been good, like always. So we've been holding things down. So um, how's everything been going in your life? Hopefully everything has been like rock solid and stuff. So, uh, but everything's good. Everything's good. So I guess y'all will see we're getting covers. Getting a lot of three stars out of this, though. So y'all see that three-star Thor pop off. Um, good mix between three stars and two stars. Like I said, sometimes it's just in the meta in what you're pulling. Um, sometimes you'll get more twos. Sometimes you'll get more threes. Um, this time I'm getting a, a good balance of both this go round. Last time it was a bunch more two stars versus three stars. But, you know, sometimes it just shakes out like that. So. Getting some good pulls there. A lot of two stars just go around like towards the back end. We started off with some threes. Uh, but we can tell we'll take the twos It's cool. I mean, it just helps in the progression of some of the two stars that I need uh, Magneto right there. So we're good there. So uh, we got four heroic that we need to pull so in case you're unfamiliar two stars three stars and four stars as far as like the Heroics are concerned. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a two star there two star Miss um, Marvel We'll take that for sure. Give us a little bit of push give us some Ant-Man push as well. Another two stars there. Two star Captain America, Steve Rogers version. So cool there. Hopefully, we get a three or a four star out of this one. Let's see. Got a four star. Hey man, good little four star right out the right off the rip off those. We'll take that for sure. Nay, uh, Namor is cool. Um, I don't know if he's any good or not. It puts another decision I need to make somewhere down the line in regards to another four star. So let me know if we need to get him on our roster sometime soon as well. Let me know. And we'll follow that up with a three-star, so we're good there. Three-star Spider-Man, we could definitely utilize that Spider-Man as well, so definitely good there. Um, I got a couple of Mighties, I guess the three-stars and four-stars, so hopefully we get a, hopefully we get a four out of this one as well. Hopefully a four that connects to a four-star we already got, but let's see what we got. Three-star there, so we get a three-star Quicksilver, not surprising there. We just start rocking with Quicksilver, so we'll get another Quicksilver in tow. Not mad at that at all. 
another three star right there back to back threes three star captain marvel let just to let y'all know um just to show y'all the ratios four stars you got a one in seven chance to get a four star versus a three star just to let y'all know what the ratios will be three star to four star but neither one is bad they're going four star right there we'll take a four we'll definitely take a four out of this pack too um venom uh, i don't like venom that's I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all i don't like venom that's the reason why y'all don't see him on my squad. I should have been had him on a long time ago. Should have kept him on. I took him on. I had him on. I took him off. I had him on. I took him off. It doesn't matter which version of Venom. I know some people love that Venom card. I can't rock with Venom. I'm sorry. Can't do it. Same one with the special offer. Um, two stars, three stars, and four stars were part of this one in the post event. Um, two star there. We got two star bullseye there that we're looking at. Cool there. Another back-to-back -back two star back-to-back -back bullseyes. Not mad at that as well. So um, very, very good. So we keep rolling on. The Crack of Doom, that's from a post event as well. Two star, three stars, four stars. Um, got an upgraded chance to get Ragnarok, of course. We catch a three star. Another Quicksilver. Wow. Wow. They're they are definitely throwing them Quicksilvers out there this go around. At least for me. I don't know how it's been for y'all, but I know for me they're throwing a lot of them Quicksilvers out there. So um, X-Men vs. Apocalypse, um, you got a Nightcrawler that you could get into, Doctor Doom, um, you got that Legendary Coin, of course, Kate Bishop in there, Beast, amongst others, um, Captain Marvel, Sentry, so there's a few of them in there, um, I think this is just strictly covers, nothing else, so, um, hopefully we'll get, like, something top tier, just in case you're unfamiliar, top tier is anything that would be considered three star or four star, bottom tier would be considered two star, of course, uh, what do we get? We got a two-star uh, Moonstone, which hasn't been getting any runs. Still sits on my squad. Never took her off, but um, definitely on there. Like I said, shout out to my boy E Hero Clayman. He's the one who said, you know, keep rocking with my twos. So I've definitely been doing that. So I just got to make sure I get my Dakin on, then I'll have my twos rock solid. So Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, right there for you. Then in a new school taco vault, um, you got that Mockingbird in there, uh, which you're going to need that if you want to get the legendary coin out of there. You got that Sandman in there as well. Uh, we got the legendary coin, which I did get that on the last one. If I had a chance to see the last video, I did, ca I did wind up catching that legendary coin. So it was definitely a good pull coming out the taco vault uh, last go around, which was a few days ago. So I'm not mad at that. Uh, Bullseye, um, Steve Rogers is in there. Sentry's in there. Punisher's in there. Uh, Blade is in there. You got a Thanos in there. Um, got a Daredevil in there, Captain Marvel in there. So you got a few of them in there. We got 10 cracks at it. So we got a few, not, you know, not a buttload of chances, but enough to maybe make a little bit of noise in here. So we'll start off with a two-star storm. That'll be the first one we got. So hopefully we get something that's top tier. Uh, I don't know if we'll go back to back on that legendary coin. That would be so fire if I did. I've, you know, never, ever, ever, ever back to back legendary coins like that but if i did it'll be great if i don't i'm not even mad but something top tier would be good a good three star a good four star would definitely work for sure um definitely a mockingbird it would actually give me a much better chance to um get that legendary coin out the um out the deadpool daily box and by the way i know i didn't mention that but definitely get your deadpool dailies up if y'all don't do anything else in the marvel puzzle quest world shouldn't take you too too long maybe no more than like 15 to 20 minutes max but make sure you get your deadpool dailies up for sure uh if you don't do anything else in the equation so um got that working there so got got a bunch of iso which i definitely need i definitely need to get my iso up for sure i've been kind of banging away working through um, utilizing a bunch of ISO-8. I probably spent like a million over the, across the last month. Ooh, three-star blade. We'll take that. <laughs> so I've been using a lot of ISO-8 because my um, four-stars and five-stars has been progressing some. So ISO-8 has been at a premium for me. Um, so I've been looking to get some. So I've been pretty, pretty cool about it. Um, I was down to like 1.1 1 .1 at one point. I think I'm back to like 1.3. So definitely we're going to need some come somewhere down the line. I'm just going to have to kind of like hold some for a period of time, um, get back to the 2 million mark and then maybe start um, utilizing it more more so as I go along. Um, another Dakin there. Like I said, I'm going to probably have to put on Dakin more sooner than later if I don't do anything else because I know I'm sitting on the least a minimum of eight covers of Dakin for sure that I can think of and probably will, whatever I pull today probably puts that number to about 10 to 11. So 
that's what was coming out the new school talk about a bunch of two a bunch of two stars out of there got that blade out of that um new school talk about so i'm definitely not mad at that um this is the post taco vault here this is from the last one um so hopefully we get some something good i would definitely know what i would take out of here um if i even if i top tier something i would love to get some coins out of there i definitely need to make some room for some roster slots so that would definitely be super super beneficial i've uh, got a magneto that magneto is good there we'll we'll take magneto because like i say anything two stars ooh, we'll take a three star colossus cool something top tiered out of that normally you don't get a lot of three stars or a lot of coins or anything out of a post taco vault you got to get real 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 fortunate to get one of those and you know, I got a Colossus out of it. I'm not mad. 1,500 um, ISO 8. We could definitely use it. Um, hopefully, we'll get something else. Maybe something, another 3-star. Maybe a 4. And I don't even remember what the 4-star was. But hopefully, we get enough out of there to kind of make this um, worth. But so far, so good. A bunch of 2-stars. That's typical par for the course. That doesn't mean that the cover pulls has been, like, horrible. That just doesn't mean it wasn't great. But it's always stuff that is needed uh, to help uh, progress along the squad. So here's the last one coming out the post taco vault. Um, Steve Rogers out of the post taco vault. So let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put these together real fast and see what we got. We'll start with our two stars like we always do. We'll go ahead and um, upgrade our um, Steve Rogers here. He's going to move up to 20, uh, 130 for Steve Rogers. Next one gives us a heroic token, of course. Um, Thor, we're going to upgrade our Thor, of course. I think he is due to be upgraded and champion, so we'll go ahead and make that happen. We'll go ahead and upgrade and champion him out. Um, no more covers. Wait, I get no more Thors. Wow, it's crazy. Uh, Magneto's going to move up a little bit. 123 for Magneto, which gives us a heroic coin there. Wolverine's going to move up. He's at 120. Just moved up one. Human Torch is going to move up 132. Gives up with another Heroic. So we'll have some additional pulls that come in behind this. Um, Bullseye is going to move up to 107. We're good there. Moonstone will move up 135. Gives us some coins there. We definitely could utilize those like I just said. Storm's going to move up a little bit. 102. Miss um, Marvel is going to move up probably 128. Nope, just 126. Wow. No progression at all. Aries is going to get bumped up a little bit. Let's see. We did get a we did get an Aries one, one or two. So we'll go ahead and move him up some. Go ahead and utilize that. Go and push him a little bit. Uh, Black Widow will move up a little bit as well. We'll get some of those, um, some of that ISO back. Move up to 119. So we're good there. Then the rest is all Dakin. Y'all see how many Dakins I'm sitting on? That's the reason why I got to put Dakin on. It's not for anything else. It's because A, he's the last of my two stars that I need. B, I'm sitting on a bunch of them. So I got to make sure I get those um, get those Dakins up. So three stars. Uh, Colossus is going to move up to 169. I think I just championed him out not that long ago. So that's not surprising. To, uh, 224. 220 for Blade. Quicksilver is going to move up to 170 if I'm not mistaken. 170 for Quicksilver. Yeah, my Quicksilver is not that strong right now, so that's why it's not doing that much da damage. Ooh, got a Legendary Coin out of it. We'll definitely take that. Spider-Man's at 212. Thor is going to move up to 223, which is good there. Iron Man's going to move up to 217. Dog, I've been sitting on Iron Man for a long time. It's only at 217. That's crazy. Um, and I got uh, Electro move up to 202, which is cool there. Uh, four stars, nothing like major. Like I said, all it, all it does is give me more action on the four stars. So we're definitely not mad at that at all. So uh, let's go ahead and pull the rest of these rest of these coins here. So we have a few of them. We got one in the latest. We got, um, actually, you know what? Let me check out some real fast. Let me go to my... Nope, not that one. Let's go to my roster real fast. Um, let's go to progression. Let me go ahead and move him up to. I think that gives me a secondary legendary. So we're going to definitely pull both of them for sure. So he's up at 228. So we'll definitely get that cooking as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull both of those. So we have four. So we got... Um, two in the heroic, two in the legendary for sure. Let's go ahead and pull these heroics first. 
Heroic will start off with a three star out of the Heroic. That three star Doc Ock is cool because I could definitely use him as some progression as well. Not mad at that at all. And then we'll get another one, which will be a two star. Two star Dakin, like I said, that's just going to confirm that I definitely have to put Dakin on for sure. If I don't do anything else with my squad, Dakin has to get on at this juncture in time. So let's go ahead and pull these legends out the way as well. We got two of them. Um, just let y'all know in those two, um, if it's a five star, it's either Professor X Carnage or Beta Ray Bill. I, I have one of each, believe it or not, I have one of each for sure. Beta Ray Bill is the one that is in the lineup right now. I have Carnage and um, uh, Professor X on the sideline currently. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we get a five. We'll get a four star out of it. Four star Professor X, which is cool. I actually got a Professor X in a hole, as y'all well see, so... That'll be some progression for Professor X. And let's go ahead and pull the second one. Back to back fours. Four star Rocket and Groot. I think I think I have to throw that one in there. I think that's gonna have to be saved. That's crazy. We'll take a look at that in a second. And let's go ahead and pull a couple more. Let's, let's pull two more. We're gonna pull two more out of the classics. Hopefully we get a five. Another four star right there. Four star um Sabretooth. I uh, don't know if I have Sabretooth on. I don't believe that I do. I don't know if that's going to help me or hurt me right now. But let's go ahead and pull one more. We'll pull one more. One more to go. Um, another four-star right there. Four-star um, Spider-Man 2099, which I don't believe I have him on either. Let's take a look at the squad and see what we have. Oh, actually, no, I do. I do have that 2099. That's right. I did add him on. So... That's cool there, so he'll move up to level 90, which is cool. A little bit of progression there. Rockin' and Groove's going to move up there, so I'm going to have to progress him along. Um, I was kind of holding tight, but I'm going to have to, so he'll move up to 250. I'm going to have to just move him up. I was kind of waiting this to hold some ISO 8, but I'm going to have to move him up and get let him get that work. He's at 250. Uh, Professor X is going to have to move up too. Um, how about master plan there? Um, I don't know. I'm going I'm to actually hold this for right now and see. I'm going to utilize this when I get closer to like champion out. So when I'm closer to champion out, then that's when I'm going to probably utilize this. Right now, I'm going to have him sit right on the side for right now and see if if I get more covers, if I get like a blind spot or a psychic convergence, then I'll be able to go ahead and push. I know I already have one save there so really i just need one of these one or two of these to cook in order for him to progress along so not mad at that as well let's go ahead and get that doc ock moving he'll give us some uh, command points as well and i believe that's it so that's pretty much it as far as like what i needed to do um i know i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and do this for sure I'm just going to go ahead and put Dakin on. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I have my I have my hangups with Dakin. Uh, Y'all already know. So I'm going to go ahead and get, get Dakin on. And go ahead and progress him up. And see what we have. We're going to progress him up. We're going to pro progress him along. And right now, like I said, I had enough of them. I had to champion them. I didn't have a choice. I mean, I did and I don't because I had to, you know, I had to do it. Go ahead and promote them up. Get them rolling. I mean, I had to do it. I didn't have much choice in the matter because I had exactly 15. It was funny. I had exactly 15 Dakins. And so for that alone, I had to go ahead and just put him on. I didn't have much choice in the matter because when you have that many, he is the last of my two stars that I needed to fill outside of Bagman Spider-Man, which nine times out of ten, you're not going to use anyway. So these are the ones that I really needed. So my two stars outside of Bagman is, out, is actually accounted for so we're going to be good to go on that front um like i said i could go ahead and um get my three star psylocke in there but i don't think i want to do that i think i'm gonna probably think about what i'm gonna do as far as like four stars or five stars concerns i'll take a look at those and see which one i want to put on and then go from there so that's all i got for y'all today family so y'all know who i am i'm mr true and deep of course y'all know who i represent it's the holy circle gaming like always god above everything till the next time family we'll do it again so salute